Welcome back. Let's do a simple gradient on each one of these. And then we're going to do a, another little gradient down here. So let's come on over here. Notice I'm not duplicating. I'm not doing anything weird. I'm just adding on some simple gradients. So before I click on this, what I want to just double check is that my fill is in the front. So I'm going to click on my gradient. I want a nice little radial gradient. And now I can come back through. Maybe we'll have a dark. Maybe we'll have our light. So I like that so far. What I want to do is control where things are hitting a little bit more. So what I want to do is I want to come over to my gradient tool. And you're going to notice that we can control each one of these. They're all selected. So if you don't like them all being selected, you can just minimize. So I can just click off, grab this one, and then I can grab one individually each time. Just so you can see what we're doing. So what I want to do is I want to say, hey, that highlight's going to hit up, hit up there. I might want to adjust maybe the angle a little bit. And then other little thing I might want to adjust is maybe I want that to kind of follow along to that curve a little more. So I can adjust where it hits and I can also adjust that shape. Let's grab that one. Again, gradient tool. Let's just kind of move it up. I can scale it so it fits it a little bit nicer. And you're going to notice that those little strokes that we added, those are going to become a little bit more and more subtle. Let's just adjust that angle a little bit. And again, I can flatten that out so it kind of hits. Let's grab this other one. And maybe on this last one, maybe I will adjust this one so it is a little bit darker. And maybe they'll have, it'll be a lot darker. So I'm going to pull over this slider. Now things to be aware of, notice the slider. I can also adjust that little slider right there on the tool itself. So most of the things that we can do, notice that little circle. When I'm adjusting, I can do that on both tools. I'm going to click my black arrow. I'm just going to deselect. Let's come on over to this face. Now, let's just do our color first. I'm going to grab our colors. Notice nothing is selected. I'm going to add another one. So whenever you get an, an extra point, if I want it to be removed, just pull down and it'll remove it. If I want to add another one, just click and it'll add an extra point. So maybe I want dark, light, and then I want another dark. So I'm going to grab that and then I'm just going to click on it. And right now it's in a radial pattern. I'm not opposed to it, but let's just see what happens when we do a linear pattern. What I am thinking is I want to do, let's go negative 90. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure both of those are the same color as the stroke that we added. And then it'll kind of pop out in some areas and then it'll just kind of fade wispy away up in some of those areas. So all I'm doing is just adjusting, little minuscule adjusting where I want those highlights to hit. And again, if I want more highlight, so I'm just looking at that chin right now. Do I want more of the highlight to kind of pop through here? I'm going to say that looks pretty good. 